Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a reading today on your soul connection and no contact and separation. Today's theme is what's behind the curtain of their mind, heart, body, and soul. So we're going to peel back the layers of your person and what they're thinking and feeling towards you. Please just take what resonates and get rid of anything that doesn't. We're going to be doing some of this reading here on this channel, and then we're going to go deeper into the messages over on the extended. So I will put all of that information down below as as well as all the decks I'll be using here today and this beautiful organite called the Divine Love Pyramid created by Michelle from Bell's Wing and Bell. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what images of you are dancing behind your per person's eyes right now. Okay. So what visions are kind of dancing around in their head when it comes to you and this connection? This deck right here is called the Oracle of Visions. So let's see what we need to know here. What is currently going on behind your person's eyes when it comes to you and this connection, this, their thoughts of you, all of the above? Ooh, okay. This is really a cool card. It's actually one of my favorites. It actually shows people that are in between worlds. You can see here, there's somebody here in the physical and there's someone in um, like spirit. So there might be one or two of you that actually, this is someone who is on the other side. So it's like, you know, there, there's contact being made energetically between the two of you, but I'm not getting that for the majority of um, everyone watching this video. That was just for like someone out there. But this right here is like 3D, 5D energy here. So your person is actually really, when they, you can see they're closing their eyes and they're envisioning you touching them. You see that they're remembering the way that you felt. They're remembering the way that, you, that you touched them. And it's not just like a physical touch because maybe you guys never actually physically touched each other. It could be the way that you touched their heart. You touched their soul. You moved them in some sort of way. You have impacted this person in some sort of significant way. You know, um, you, you got their attention in some way. So that's a really, really beautiful energy. So the image that they have that's dancing behind their eyes right now is that they're envisioning being in your world again. They're envisioning what it would be like to uh, be together again. They're envisioning you reaching out to them. That's what I'm getting here too. They're envisioning all of these things. All right, so let's go ahead and get some more visions here. What else is your person envisioning when it comes to you? Let's see. Okay, so they're envisioning you balancing them out in some way. Your, your energy or how you touch their lives is very calming and very soothing to them. So they're actually craving the balance that you bring, the calmness that you bring, being with you, spending time with you calms this person. They feel more balanced when you're in their life or just in your presence. So that's what they're envisioning is how balanced they would feel. Um, also yin yang energy, how you guys would complement each other very nicely how you guys could work together as a team, how you guys could bounce things back and forth off of each other. So they're, they're thinking about all of these things. What else? I feel like restoring balance. This person envisions restoring balance with you too. Okay. So they actually envision things playing out. So you know how you do that? You kind of play out how, or in your head, you kind of play out what you're going to say, what you would do. You kind of set the scene up. So I do feel like, yes, this person is definitely thinking about setting some sort of stage and they play out how you guys would interact with one another and how it would go. So they're, they're doing this. You can see here, this person is in control. Like they're, you know, uh, like a play. They're, they're playing out what you would say, what they would do, and how this would go. So this person definitely in their head space a lot when it comes to just what they want to do or what they imagine would happen moving forward with you. So this is one of my newer decks. It's called the Diviner's Oracle. Let's see what else is playing out behind your person's eyes right now. Let's get some details on all of this. But the majority of the energy to me is this person envisions restoring some sort of balance with you. This could be through an apology. We have this masculine figure that's getting down on one knee. So it's kind of like proposing something to this individual. Okay. I'm making it official. 
acting with integrity, bringing some sort of respect to you. This could even be an, an apology, like an official apology that you never received. So this person could envision bringing you some sort of apology. Could be also in person, not just over the phone. Like it's official, they're in town, it's official, um, I'd, I'd like to meet up with you. And they like officially apologize to you um, by directly looking in your face. So th this person envisions this. They envision having a face-to-face -face conversation with you. They may have a conversation with you initially through like an email or a message to get you to that point where you guys are facing each other. Um, but yes, they, they definitely envision this face-to-face -face contact, this face-to-face -face, uh, meeting, um, actually being in your physical presence. Okay, and we have the tree. Interesting. I feel like this just came up in another reading. Bringing this connection back to health. You guys might be um, long lost loves. And what I mean by that is it may have been a long time since you've seen this person. We do have the keyword maturity, and sometimes that just means, you know, a long time has gone on. People have matured. People now have more integrity. They have more respect. Um, they're just maybe older now, and they've learned a lot. So this could be a changed person that envisions bringing you a new version of themselves. Okay, and we do have the cross, which is burden, suffering, and duty. Interesting. I do you feel like it's a burden on this person of, um, you know, that it, like a burden and they've been suffering, not bringing you this truth. And they do feel like in a way it's like their duty to bring this to you. And so they play it out in their mind and they kind of try it on for size to see how it goes. So issuing you an apology or making contact with you is what this person thinks about the most. Okay, now let's go into the modern love tarot. Let's see what else is playing out in this person's mind when it comes to you in this connection. Hmm, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, first of all, the Queen of Pentacles, it's Capricorn's energy. So this could be very soon that this person plans on, you know, uh, bringing this official apology or something to you. Uh, but they definitely envision you being very established. They uh, have some sort of newfound respect for you. They see you as an asset, someone who's very valuable, somebody who has that you know queen-like energy, somebody that might work for themselves, somebody that just basically has it all together. So that I feel like there's this mass amount as of respect that this person does have for you, and this is also someone that it, ha it adds someone who adds value to their life. So they see you as a valuable asset. They see you as somebody that would be a valuable teammate to them. So they envision the value that you could bring to their life and maybe balance them out or you're a good team. We have justice. Yeah, there's an apology here. This person wants to bring you some official justice. They want to say that they are sorry for something. Um, they definitely want to balance this connection out. It is, it is imbalanced at the moment. Um, that's probably why you're watching this reading is because maybe you don't have a lot of information on this person. But they definitely want to bring some sort of justice and they want to make an official like decision to, to contact you. And I feel like they've been suffering from quite some time, suffering in silence. And this connection being in an imbalanced state has actually been a burden to them for quite some time. Mm -hmm. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration. It's also teamwork. I already got that message. Definitely wants to come together in a more loving way here. Now that th this person may be more aligned, meaning Maybe their life was in shambles before. Maybe they were not emotionally available for you at one time. Maybe they have worked on themselves. Enough time has gone on to where you guys have both matured. And so now they're looking at things from the perspective of they're much more ready. They're much more inclined to open up their heart space to you in this connection. Okay. So they're, they're running these scenarios through their head. 
Um, some of them could even run the scenario through their head that there is a third person. There's a third, third party here, um, how they'll deal with that third party. So they're either in it or you're in it could be both of you. This third party could also though be a friend or a mutual, uh, contact between the two of you where maybe they use this person to kind of feel things out for them when it comes to what you're up to or where you're at. We have Ace of Pentacles. We have quite a bit of Pentacles showing up here. This is 3D energy. This is Earth energy. It's very stable. The Ace of Pentacles always indicates some sort of an offering in the physical world. So I feel like this person has probably been thinking about making contact with you or reconciling with you, bringing you this apology for a while, and now it's getting to a point where they're ready to take some sort of action in the material world. It's like enough is enough. Enough time has gone on now. We're, we're not getting any younger. This is something that I know that I need to do, and it's my duty to make this happen. Mm -hmm. They definitely want to have some sort of reunion with you with the Three of Cups. But there could be other people involved in this reunion. Um, it could be a block, of course, but I would have seen the Three of Swords more if it was kind of a negative. This could just be that there are people that you guys mutually know or there will be some sort of an event. It's like this person envisions meeting up with you um, at some sort of social event kind of running into you. Um, it could also be that they imagine what your reunion would look like and the good time that you guys would have. Uh, they also envision, even if they can't be with you, you know, in a certain way, if, especially if there is mistrust or there is not mutual feelings anymore, or if there's things that are standing in the way, they do envision what it would be like just to be your friend. I almost feel like this person just wishes to have you in their life, whatever form that, that, that is. It's like, they just want you back. They just want you back. So this is what they envision in their mind right now. So let's now take a look and see what feelings are being stirred up in their heart towards you currently. What does that energy look like? What energy is tugging at their heartstrings right now? This is the Oracle of Mermaids. What energy is tugging at your person's heartstring the most right now when it comes to you in this connection? Okay, well, they definitely want to build something new with you. Um, there is this nurturing vibe that you possess. Now, they do envision you like the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is the mother. The queen of pentacles is the wife. The queen of pentacles is someone that you want to really invest with and be a teammate with, um, a very stable figure, somebody that makes you feel safe and nurtured. So we see this mother and child energy. And I just feel like your individual gets some sort of comfort from you. You, you may be, um, a caretaker type of individual individual. They may feel like they really need your tender, tender, loving care. You, you may just be a very giving, kind, loving person and they miss this energy. Okay. They may also see that you guys have so much potential to create amazing things in this life. Maybe, maybe even come together and have children, you know, depending on what the situation is, but they definitely feel like there's something that they can create with you. And it might be that they're finally ready for that. And we have reflections. They they see you. It's like a mirror here. They see the two of you as being very similar, but also different. You're like reflecting each, something about each other, but you're, you could also deflect as well. There might be certain things where there are strong suits in your person and weaknesses in you and vice versa. So yeah, they're, they're seeing you in this like teammate type of situation where you guys would be good reflections of each other. Your person has also really contemplated a lot and they've dive, dove deep into their emotions and their emotions now are speaking to them. Their heart is open when it comes to looking at you and figuring out how they feel. So if their heart was shut down before, it does seem to me like their heart is more open when it comes to considering how they feel about you. 
They've done a lot of reflecting, which tells me that you and this person have probably been in separation for a little bit of time now. Yeah, there's definitely this energy field, okay? Something has shifted in the energy field. Maybe you just recently let this person go. Maybe you recently forgave them. And what I'm getting you guys is that they felt the shift in their heart space with that energy field adjustment. Okay. You have um, adopted healthier behaviors or coping mechanisms when it comes to this person. You've like let them go with love in your heart. You've sent them love and light. You've forgiven them. You know, you're just kind of living your life. And I do feel like this letting go in a very healthy way, you detaching yourself in a very healthy way is actually, this person felt this. They felt this letting go on your end. They felt the energy adjust because it could be that this energy has been stuck for quite some time. And now the energy seems to have shifted. So it's very interesting what's going on here. Very interesting shift that they have felt when it comes to you and the connection. All right, let's see what else. This right here is the Psychic Heart Oracle and Tarot. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. Um, if you send this person energy, they feel it in their heart space. Because look at this. We've got this sacral chakra. And I just have this like so chakra energy here. Like they're, uh, that yellow energy. I'm, I'm getting sacral because of all the orange. But I'm also getting the um, solar plexus as well. So the sacral and the solar plexus energy... What I'm seeing is that there could be some sort of intimacy that the two of you guys, you know, still share. So there's like this energetic bond, this energetic lovemaking going on. There, there's something that they are, they're imagining and you're imagining it too. You may have also felt an energy adjustment on your end too, because it's this person giving to you and then you receive it and then you give it back. So there's a lot of different forms going on here. A lot of forms of energy where it's being sent back and forth between the two of you. And this is in your, the feelings that are being stirred up in your person's heart space towards you. It might be what you've been giving them and how they're receiving it. Like they're receiving this now with an open heart. They're receiving this energy. They're more open to it. I'm also seeing too, that if you've empowered yourself and you're more confident and you have dove into your purpose and your mission in this life, that to me is, is a solar plexus all over it. And so that tells me here that because you've become more confident and you've detached in a healthier way and you're more empowered, that's why this person is feeling your energy so supremely. That's why they're seeing you as the queen of pentacles. They're seeing you in this whole new light. And it's because you are a whole new person. You have upgraded, you have ascended, you have really transcended is what I'm getting. So it's like the good, the, the work that you've done has been, uh, has done you good. And it's also maybe, I don't want to use the word improved, but it is it has helped this person to see you from a truer light. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's the light. Oh my God. That's it. You see all this yellow energy. I'm telling you, you are shining like a bright freaking sun and the sun is a star. So of course that's what I wanted to say. You're shining like a bright, a bright shining star. Um, you have just gone next level here. Your energy is so freaking powerful. That's what the sun is. The sun is divine masculine energy. It's very, very powerful. Um, but what I'm getting here is that this individual has finally opened up their heart space. This is coming from the heart. You can see this. This person's heart now is open towards you. They've had some sort of a heart chakra opening. That's what I'm getting when it comes to you in this connection. Their heart chakra just cracked open. So they're really feeling a lot of things towards you in this connection now. Maybe that they were pushing away or maybe we're not even open to before. It's quite profound. Oh my, we have the nine of cups. So the nine of cups is our dreams coming true. The stars align for us. The universe is working in our favor. We're getting what we want. We, we have, you know, hopes and dreams. 
hopes of better days. I feel like this person is now looking at this situation with you as a dream come true. It may have just dawned on them that you are their ideal mate, their ideal mate, their ideal partner, the one for them, the one that they've always been looking for. And they could have conjured you in before, like, you know, I really, I really wish or hope that I can meet someone. And then they came together with you and they may have blown it. They may have not been ready. It's kind of like, be careful what you wish for. I almost feel like this person wished for you before, but then they couldn't fulfill the, they couldn't fulfill that time frame. That timeline came and went and, and it just, it just left. And it, you know, you took kind of that timeline with you. And so now you guys are on these like different timelines, but now I feel like these timelines are starting to merge. The, the ascension that's taking place is helping to merge the two of you back to the same timeline. It's very deep, <laughs> whatever's happening here, very deep. Yep, this person has opened up their heart space towards you. I already felt this for sure. This is the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is someone who's very stubborn, they're going to um, close themselves off. They're going to hold on to their own energy for dear life. They're not going to trust anybody. Well, this is just the opposite. This person is finally opening themselves up. They're realizing that their way of doing things this whole time wasn't actually coming from a strength. It was coming from a weakness. It was coming from just a weaker version of themselves. And they viewed themselves as so strong because they were cutting themselves off from anything that could possibly make them feel vulnerable or, you know, or weak or whatever. And I just feel like they had to go through some stuff in order to realize, wow, this is actually, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm a weak individual because I'm scared of this. I would be so much stronger and it takes more bravery to open up and take a risk than to take no risks at all. So this person has had some sort of major epiphany, spiritual awakening, heart chakra cracking open, and it has something to do with you, you guys. That's what we're getting here. Yeah, that's the strength card. They felt like they were in control before. They felt like that was the answer, and it's not. I feel like this is a divine masculine for some of you guys. This is your divine masculine, your divine counterpart, if that's how you see this person. But they felt like that was what they had to do in order to, to be strong. They had to close themselves off. They had to say no. They had to just focus on themselves. They couldn't let anyone in. That's what strength was to this person back then. But they have since shifted. They have since changed. They have gone through some specific experiences that have changed them. And you have something to do with that. Wow. All right. So now we're going to go into what do they know deep down inside about you and this connection now, now that all this has happened, what do they know now? What is the vibe? What is the energy? Let's look at this. Oh, darn. Some of my cards fell. I got to grab. Well, you know what? They fell for a reason. Maybe they're not meant to be in this reading. Okay. All right. So let's see. What does your person know? deep down in their soul about you and this connection now. What do they know? All right, this is called the Wild Wisdom of the Fairy Oracle. Oh my gosh, they know deep down that they were scared to fly with you this entire time. They know that it was their weakness and their fear that was holding them back. Even though they told themselves they were strong by either rejecting you or closing themselves off, off to you, they realized that that was just an excuse because they were scared. They were scared to come fly. Come fly with me or something like that. Isn't that a song from Frank Sinatra or Dean Martin? I'm not sure. But come fly with me. You wanted this person to come fly with you. You wanted this person to fly high with you, but they were too scared to fly with you. That's what it is. So that's what they realize now is that their weakness and their fear held them back from this experience that was presented to them, you know, a while ago. Okay. So this is one of my newer decks called the winter wonderland Oracle. What else do they know deep down inside about you and this connection now? that you're trustworthy. 
So instead of not trusting this, they know that you're an alliance to them. You're not an enemy, you're an alliance. Or they want to make, you're an ally. They want to make an alliance with you now. They trust it. They're more open to this. And the puppy is, you know, the dog, and the dog for, for me is loyalty, kindness, being very trustworthy, right? So they know that you're someone that they can trust. They know that you are, you're for them, not against them. They know that you're not the enemy, and it's not to say that they thought you were the enemy before, but I feel like they may have villainized you or they may have focused on some negative traits and tried to make that the reason that they needed to separate themselves from you. But deep down inside, I feel like this person always knew you were a good person. They always knew that they should be with you. They always knew that they should have chose you, but they didn't. And it was because they were scared to fly like scared little puppy dog, right? Big bark, but just a puppy. Mm -hmm. So this is what they realize now. They realize that they were actually just a child before they were a child pretending to be an adult. Okay, so this deck is called the Light Seer's Tarot. Mm hmm. Eight of Swords. So, the Eight of Swords, you can see this vision here. We've got all of these strings and this blindfold and all of these black crows that are just, you know, completely confining this, this woman here. And then on the other, that's just a, like a, a mirror. It's just the way that she's envisioning herself. So, this individual, what they realized is that they had the power all along to release this fear, to release this way of thinking, this, th their thoughts in their head, because at the end of the day, these thoughts were just fear based lack mentality, you know, ego energy. So they realized that a lot of their downfall or maybe even the downfall of your connection really came from their fear. That's what they realize now. They were in their head. They were too in their head when they were with you before. They told themselves stories. And I'm getting here old programs. Old programs were running when this person was dealing with you before. So those old programs had some sort of an effect on this person's decisions or behaviors when they were with you. They're not excuses, but those are just facts. That's what happened. Oh my. Beauty and the Beast. So we can, of course, look at that fairy tale, right? So what I remember, and of course, I'm just going with the Disney cartoon. I don't even think I actually read the book Beauty and the Beast or even saw, you know, the movie. Was it originally Disney? I'm not sure. I always thought that Little Mermaid was originally Disney, but it wasn't. The original is actually pretty freaking, pretty, uh, pretty dark. <laughs> but I'm going to go with the version of Beauty and the Beast from Disney. Obviously that we have Belle, she's beautiful. And then we have the beast. The beast is actually under some sort of like, it's a curse. He's been cursed. And if she can love him, if she can really truly love him, this spell will be broken. It does say the keyword unconditional love. What I'm getting here, you guys, is that this particular person what's going on with what they know deep down inside is that you unconditionally gave them love. You unconditionally trusted them. You put your heart out on the line. Your soul was beautiful. Your, your kind, love, nurturing, giving soul. And they may have turned into the beast and really hurt you and really caused you a lot of pain. Um, you know, there's definitely that going on here. And so they believe deep down inside that you could possibly love them once again. If you could just see the new them, if you could see how they have changed, if they could just show you something, if you could just look into their eyes, they could show you something. And I think that that is how Bell recognizes when he turns into the prince, she looks into his eyes and she sees that they're the same. And then she's, you know, that she recognizes him and realizes it's him, it's him because she fell in love with him from, you know, for the inside, for who he really was. So I feel like this person really, it's important to them to want to look into your eyes. 
I got that from the very beginning of this reading. They want to sit down with you and they want to have a conversation with you where you can look in their eyes. There's something about you looking in their eyes and they're, them looking into your eyes and, and saying certain words that they can convey to you, that can really convey to you that what they're saying to you is true. That, you, you know, that, that, that they have changed, that they're a changed person. Okay. So it's very cool. Yeah. Breakthrough nutcracker. They've had a major breakthrough, you guys. Okay. It's like, it's like cracking a nut. It's hard. I swear. I got some, uh, like walnuts and pecans, like some kind of holiday mix last year. And I didn't have a freaking nutcracker. I was like, no big deal. We'll be able to crack them open. No way. Okay. Needed a freaking nutcracker. I still needed one. Uh, we weren't able to find one at the store. The, the nuts went bad. We had to throw them away. We couldn't open these damn things. So nuts are sometimes hard to crack. And this person I feel is representing that frustration that I just spoke about that they're a tough cookie to crack. They're a tough nut to crack but they've had a breakthrough and you have something to do with that. Your love, the love that you still send this person, the love that you still have in your heart towards this person, the love that you have always had for them, it affects them and they feel it. And it helps them to experience this breakthrough when it comes to just their life, their own heart, their hangups, everything. Ace of Swords. You want to talk about a card? If I had to come up with a word, I think it's even on one of my tarot decks. Ace of Swords. Breakthrough. That's the freaking, uh, that's, that's the descriptive word. So it doesn't surprise me to see this here. The Ace of Swords is major clarity. But the Aces in tarot are actually offerings from the divine. This is a divine spiritual breakthrough, you guys. You know, some things may have happened to them that have attributed to this. But this is actually coming straight from the divine. This is a breakthrough that this is a spiritual breakthrough. This is a breakthrough of the higher self to the lower self, waking this person the hell up. That's what this is. So deep down in their soul, spirit is also revealing who you really are to this person. And who you really are to this person is something very special. Okay. All right, let's get one more set. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Light in the darkness. Oof. So they see you as the light in their darkness. Um, they see you as an angel. They see you as a guiding light. They see you as somebody that is a part of their spiritual awakening. And you are, I definitely saw this here. You're the light that's coming through. That's helping them to see something. You also help this person to recognize things and to love themselves. Um, you may have loved this person on their dark days. They may have pushed you away. They may have shunned you in their darkness, but you were always the light to them. And sometimes when we are drowning in our darkness, we are going to, we are going to sh uh, shun every bit of light around us. And I feel like that might be what this person did to you. They have pushed you out during one of their darkest times. And of course that's very hurtful, very painful. And interesting. So they've, they've actually, um, deep down inside, there's something about outer appearances. They always wanted to appear a certain way, you guys, but it was very much connected to the material world. It was very much connected to their ego and superficial crap. I don't know if this is going to match up with someone's story out there, but this individual may have gone down that rabbit hole of thinking that that would provide them happiness fame, fortune, success, attention, money, you know, the way things look, beauty, youth, all that stuff. Some things have happened though, because we have a shift here. So we have a generational shift. What this tells me is that as they have gotten older, 
also their outer appearance has changed. So as they've gotten older and appearances have changed and a lot of the things that they had before have gone, those were temporary. The light from your love, the memory of your love, the energy that they feel from your love is still here. It never went away. It never went away. So as, as much as you guys may have spent time apart, it hasn't changed the way that they feel deep down inside about you. That means something that th th there's something special there. So that's what your person realizes about you in this connection is that how can I still feel this light from so long ago? It means something. And that's what spirit is trying to, to, uh, communicate or download, I should say to this person is that it's time to do something about it. It's time to shift the timeline. So I feel like you guys are, were stuck on an old, old timeline. Oh my gosh. And then we have this wheel of fortune. This is Sagittarius season. We're in it. Okay. We're in, well, you know, November, uh, December, Sagittarius Capricorn um, energy here. It's, it's here. So for me, the wheel must turn. These last two months, it might be that this person is getting such an extreme download, their inner knowingness, right? Their intuition, their higher self telling them it's time to turn the wheel. It's time to take a risk. It's time to turn the wheel of fate. There's an element of fate and destiny that this person has connected to you. They feel like you're a part of their next timeline, or they feel like you're a part of their next phase in life. Maybe they always felt or imagined that they would end up with you in the end, that they would always come back to you later. So you guys could be really experiencing a lot of psychic uh, telepathy with this individual, with their moves, what they're planning on doing next, when they might be communicating to you, etc. But I feel like these next two months, no, uh, just are not, we're not in November. I keep, we, we literally, today's December 1st, but it's like these next two seasons, Sagittarius and Capricorn. Um, those next two seasons I feel are going to be very, very powerful. Uh, very powerful shifts are going to be taking place. Sagittarius is all about expanding, expanding the mind. It's also about taking some risks and, and doing some things that maybe you wouldn't normally do. And then Capricorn is all about uh, Saturn's energy, burdens, and letting go of hardships and you know taking responsibility for our actions, which sometimes is very difficult to do. And I feel like that's what this person has been burdened with for quite some time. And they want to release this cycle. They want to get on a new page with you, a new cycle with you. So deep down inside, it's like they know that they hold the power to move and turn this wheel forward in this connection. So that's what I have for you guys so far. If you guys would like to join me for some deeper messages over onto the extended, we're going to go over these following things. What desires and fantasies are coming up for them when they have thoughts about you? How have you made an impact on your person's ascension journey? What are they telepathically trying to communicate? communicate to you now and what steps will this person likely take in order to reconnect with you so if that sounds interesting definitely join me over on the extended i will put that link down below and thank you guys so much for choosing to watch this reading today all right you guys take care bye bye